Good morning, all. Oh, dramatic, but it is morning. And I just woke up. This is what I look like. Um, I'll show you guys. Crusty. I got crusties here. Crusties all in my eye, just crusty. So I just wanted y'all to know that authentically, this is what I do to my face. Okay. So, simply we just start off with washing our face. I'm gonna give you my three options that I do because I don't do the same thing to my face every single day. Um, I switch it up like any normal person. So on days where my skin is feeling kind of like dry, I usually use the Dove soap and it is sensitive skin, no scent because I cannot have my face like breaking out for no reason. Um, on days where my skin feels like extra oily, I usually do um, Cetaphil Gentle Daily Scrub or Gentle Skin Cleaner because this one's a little bit lighter. This is like um, almost like a, a very, very soft, like gentle. Here, I'll just show you. Yeah, so look at that. It's very like soft. It doesn't like foam up very much. So since it's on my hand, I guess I'll be using this one today. And the daily scrub is more of an exfoliant, but it's also pretty light. So this is what that one looks like. It's more of a creamy, but it has little beads in it so that your face can get like that scrub. But nothing too hard, it'll dry your face out because constantly exfoliating your skin is not good for you and it leaves your skin dry and flaky and nobody wants that. So I normally exfoliate maybe every other day or three times a week, but not every day. So, I guess we'll try this today. So obviously, get some hot water going. And I rub it together, but you see how it's not really foamy. It's like, just to cleanse your face, not to like strip your face of all your oil. I'm sorry that you even had to witness that. That was disgusting, but I had to just let you know that this is not a video where I just made my skin look perfect before I started it. Okay. So, once again, your options for face cleaner are gentle skin cleaner from Cetaphil and extra gentle daily scrub. And then, of course, the sensitive skin Dove Bar. Non-scented because we have no time for breakouts. Maybe later. This is great. I use some on my body too because my skin is really sensitive and I have eczema, so I cannot have like the fragranced anything. It doesn't work for me. Okay, so now we move on to moisturizing because moisturizing is super important, guys. Okay, so I also have options for that because of the fact that, um, you know, I am. I don't know. I just like to switch things up. I just like options, so I'm giving you guys some options. So here's your options for that. So I have the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion, which is light, but then I have the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, which is a little bit heavier. So I usually use the Moisturizing Lotion during the summer and the Moisturizing Cream during the winter just because I live in Missouri, it snows here, and my skin typically seems to be a little bit drier in the winter time. I think that's like everybody. Sorry, I'm like falling off the counter. There we go. So I'm gonna show you the thickness of both and it should, I don't know, help you out a little bit. Okay, so this is the lotion. It's light, easily rubs on. But it's winter time, so I'm gonna use that cream. This is the cream. It's a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna use probably about this much for my face. Doesn't really take much at all. And the price of these things are probably around like six, seven bucks. So it's not like break the bank, 
but it's like a little bit more expensive than your average just random lotion because it's dermatologist recommended and it gets you right yeah so i rub that on my face feels amazing. I also want to point out that I do not have oily skin. I have like maybe like a little bit of oil on my T-zone, but my skin is a pretty combination. So if you have oily skin, I would stick to the lotion because um, you probably don't need that extra moisture even in the winter time. Okay. So now that we've talked about moisturizing, we are going to talk about maintaining. So um, guys, for those of you that think that skincare is just what you put on your face and not what you put in your body, you are absolutely wrong. So in order to maintain good, even skin, you have to drink a lot of water. So if you are not drinking water and all you're drinking is Diet Coke and Sprite and Kool-Aid, you're not gonna have clear skin. It's not gonna happen. So the other thing is what you're eating. Fried foods, anything with oil, high fructose corn syrup, that literally purges from your body through your skin. So kind of cut down the fried foods, cut down the junk food a little bit, eat more fruit, vegetables, and you will notice your skin starting to clear up. So water, fruit, vegetables, the normal stuff. Um, but the other things that you can do to maintain is for me, I have allergies, so that leaves my eyes a little bit puffy around here with dark spots. So I have an eye cream. So I use Image Skincare eye cream, and I've had this forever, so it lasts forever. Um, I don't even remember how much I paid for it because I've had it for maybe like three years. Like that's how, that's how long it lasts. So just use, oh, I don't mean to flick you eyes off, sorry. Just use your finger to dab it on. And you're supposed to dab it on like this in order to like stimulate the cells around your eyes. And for some reason it feels good. Like it feels like, I don't know, really, really good. Okay. Then you do it on the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna be looking real nice today. Okay. And then last but not least, I use this hydrating repair cream sometimes. Normally when I'm going out and about because it has a little bit of sunscreen in it. So, you're supposed to use sunscreen on your face, but for us melanin queens, we kind of ignore that because we're like, oh, sunscreen, we don't need it, we don't need it. But sunscreen is not to protect you from burns or getting darker, it's to protect you from ultraviolet rays. So everybody's affected by those and everybody needs a little sunscreen in their life. So don't knock it, girls. So rub it on, it smells citrusy. I just rubbed it on my face. Look in the mirror. Make sure no crusties are here. And voila, I'm ready to go. Yeah, see that? My face feels amazing. Yep. And that's pretty much all I ever do to my face. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you want to see next from Bailey Daily because I'm just here to keep it real with y'all um, and let y'all know what we can do to grow together. And honestly, drop me some tips at the bottom of this video because I'm new to this YouTube thing and I want to make sure that you guys are getting the content that you deserve and that you desire. Love y'all.